Today we'll be looking at the old spreadsheeting program Lotus 123 for Linux. Because now you can finally do spreadsheeting within the terminal. Just like, I don't know, God intended. So it's allowed to do it because you could do, it uses partial linking to solve it. But you could read about it here if you want to. So first we want to do the get installed. Because while it is in the AUR, not every distro has the AUR, so oh, let's first we have to install it. So first we need to check to see if we have bin utils compiled with cough i386 support. So let's run the command and we don't. So we will have to instead compile it from source. To do that, I, you first clone the repository. Then we need to download it from uh, the Internet Archive. I've already done that, so I'm just going to use Thunar to move it around. Let's put this in directory right here. Okay. So we're in that directory. So we want we need these packages as well. So if you don't have them installed, install them with your package manager, whether that be apt, DNF, or whatever. So you could compile it this way. However, it's all ready to go, so let's see. So we just need to compile in utils, which luckily is a nice shell script that does it for us. So I'll go ahead and download it. All right, it's it full, went ahead and installed the bin details. Now we just need to extract from Lotus one two three that we downloaded. Let's, let's do extract sh very quick, and now we just need to run make, and there it's done. So you could run it by doing one two three, and we're in. Than the spreadsheet program, but I'm gonna quit and instead run it from my documents folder. And now, uh, since I installed it from the AUR, I can run that like that. They put it in your path, so I know that you have to put it in your path, like take the executable and put it in, say, like. So, uh, dot local slash bin or you put it in user slash bin or or not user slash in usr slash bin or slash bin whatever you want to do right, first to navigate within lotus one two three you hit forward slash which opens up the menu and that's how you interact with it and to quit you can actually just hit forward slash q and get to the quit menu and the save, let's create some random data uh, for a nine, not seven. We do forward slash and then under file save, which you could actually do by hitting F and then S, and it gives you a where you can put it. And it seems to default to the home directory. Oh, so let's name it uh, 123 best 
that worksheet three. Now, let's see. Now I'll also include the manual, which is included on the GitHub, which is linked to in the GitHub repository as well as a getting started guide. So the simplest thing you want to do is do like a sum, so you can keep track of like what you're doing. So let's put some monetary values in there, like I don't know, forty dollar, negative forty dollars. So doesn't like that. How do I do negatives? Like that? All right, it just ignores dollar sign. I see. But if you want to do a sum, so you go to where you want to put the total. So you use the arrow keys to navigate, by the way. You're like, total. So you change the formatting by, what's it? You could, if you put carrot, you get center. So I do to total. It's in the center. You, I don't, how do you delete? Probably worksheet delete row. Let's see, I want to delete that row. So if you want it left justified, you do that total. It shouldn't change anything, but if you want to make it right justified, you do double quotes. So it's all that makes it right justified. I believe it's right. I'm trying to make a border. Make a border. Make a so do the sum go right here in the type at symbol sum in all caps. And then that then enter and then do a period on the first cell that you select and that tells it that you want more than one cell. You go up and hit enter again and then you close it off with a close parenthesis hit enter and it gives us the sum of negative 10 plus 8 plus 7. And I assume it also works with let's see what is it? I don't remember my math anymore. Uh, I'm back. So, if you ever need help, you can press F1 and it seems to tell me all the functions. But, D sum. Let's go to the index. Can. My F3 you should tell us. Uh, F3 should be telling us all the formulas. Maybe I need to do at an F3. Ah, oh, there we go. So, is that absolute value? Okay. The arc, cosine arc, secant, cosine arc, tangent, tangent squared, average, cell point. Let's do the average. So let's do it's like this. And then oh, I did it wrong. And then we get the average here, which is 1.6667. Let's see what are other ones we can do. Square root of this one. Which I believe that's correct. Um, probably better if we change that to something I know, like four. Yeah. So use the square root. Now I imagine what we can do is do uh, the square root and then 
this um, of these boxes is one, I believe. One, I think that's correct. Maybe it's uh, what's the number that I can think of? Five, eight, four, right now. Get the sixteen, so it's eleven. Eleven. We need to make this a five. This is four. Yeah, and that was a brief overview of the spurging. Oh, yeah, do a quick save. There you go. Let's see. Replace. So that was an overview of Lotus One Two Three. Like, comment, and subscribe, ring the bell, follow me on Mastodon, and have a nice day. Minix out.